Hey, Deborah here again. Thanks for joining me for segment three of suicide prevention, where we will talk about what happens when we start seeing warning signs. When we know that somebody's life uh, is presenting them with challenges and we start seeing things that worry us. So in those instances, what do we do? Again, we have an acronym that helps us to remember the different steps. And so we're going to talk, yes, of course, about ACT. So when we see those signs, it is our responsibility to act. The first part is ask, right? Ask that question. Now, we ask questions all the time, right? Why this? Why does this have to happen? How does this work? You know, when will we eat our next meal? Whatever the case may be, right? We are constantly asking questions. But when it comes to this one, it's a lot harder, right? Asking somebody if they are thinking about committing suicide is a tough question to vocalize. I think a lot of times it's because, quite honestly, we're scared. What if they say yes? Then what do we do? We'll help you, right? We're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. But with that question, we have to be very direct. Please don't beat around the bush. Please don't be worried if, you know, what if I asked this question and they weren't thinking about it, but now they are. Ask the question. Be direct hey, are you thinking about committing suicide? Okay, question's been asked, right? Now what happens if they say yes? We move into caring. So what does it look like to care? What does it mean for you to show somebody that you are concerned about what's going on? It goes back to that small act Right? Hopefully you've been thinking about that. Hopefully you have some things in mind. It could be sitting down on the mess decks with somebody and having a conversation over a cup of coffee. It could be walking. It could be just hanging out with them, right? Letting that person talk or whatever it may be that they need. Okay, so listen to them. If they say yes, they are inviting you into their very personal experience. So we also have to be cautious of reactions that we have. Um, please make sure that we are not shaming, placing judgment. That's not for us to do, right? Instead, we need to be that person who is going to listen, to not be distracted by things that are going on around them with, you know, technology today, that's a big one. Put that phone down, put it aside, turn it on mute, let it buzz, right? Because what's most important in this moment is the person that is in front of you, is the person that has now, again, invited you into their life, into their crisis, and reaching out for help. One of the strongest things and one of the the bravest things that someone who is thinking about committing suicide can do is to ask for help. So you've asked the question. They've said yes because they just, they want somebody to ask them. They want somebody to notice. They want somebody to give them the opportunity to talk. So be that person by caring. Now, please, as we move into the treatment or the T for treat in ACT, unless you are a doctor, unless you are a counselor, unless you are a chaplain, um, please don't feel like I have to be the final person because you are not, right? And that's kind of the nice thing. Um, it lets us off the hook a little bit. While we are listening and while we are caring for them, we are not that subject matter expert. 
So we need to get them to those people who are subject matter experts. We need to get them to the resources that I'll share with you in the next segment to be able to provide whatever assistance it is that they need. Maybe it is some type of medical assistance. Maybe it is the financial. Maybe it is, you know, who knows, right? But we need to be able to just follow the steps of asking, being direct with our questions, caring, providing that listening ear, right? Letting them know that somebody is there to be with them, and then getting them to the people who can help. Getting them to the resources, like I mentioned. So don't forget, one of the other things that I talked about in the beginning was that self-care. How are you taking care of yourself? Because if we aren't coming from a good place and we ask that question, that caring step may not be the easiest. Do something for yourself. Self-care is not selfish. Join me again for the next segment where we'll cover some resources that can help when we do have to provide that, um, that caring step and get them to the people who can provide treatment. See you in a minute.